Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First, we have to select a new part. Then click OK. Select a plane which you want to sketch. First, we have to draw a line. Then you have to draw a center line at the midpoint of previously draw the lines for the references. Again, we have to give you a small dimensions based upon your requirement. Then click OK. Then we have to use a three point up to for connecting the two points of lines. Then click OK. Exit the sketch. Go to the surfaces and use the planar surfaces and select our corresponding profile. Then click OK. Again, we have to use a thicken for the planar surfaces. Give the amount of thickness which was you to created. Now our base profile of iron box is to be created. Then select a face which you want to sketch. Make it to the normal view. Then we have used a center line for the references. Then we have to use a convert entities. Select if entities to be converted. Again, we have to offset the convert entities for the required dimensions. Then click OK. Again, we have to draw a center line for references. So select a center line and make it to the intersecting with previously created convert entities. Again, we have to go to Dream Entities, then Dream the Unwanted Line Segments, then click OK. Then we have to mirror the entities corresponding to center line. Now our mirror entities is created. Just click OK. Now we have created yeah, two profiles. Again, we need yeah, one more profile at a mid plane. So first we have to delete the unwanted line segments, then exit the sketch. Then we have to create a mid plane. Now the mid plane is cannot be found on the previously. So we have to create a mid plane by the keep the references of planes. First we have to exit and go to the reference geometry, select a plane. Again we have to select a corresponding plane which was to be offset for creating a perpendicular plane. just drag the plane for increasing the size of the planes now we have created a mid planes again we have to draw a one more profile at a mid plane so select a plane and go to the sketch first we have to draw a center line for the references Then select a spline. Just you have to draw a spline to achieve the outer surface of iron box. Just add other positions for a good look. Then exit the sketch. Now we have a three open profiles which can be utilized by the loft surfaces. So go to the surfaces. Make sure that yeah, you have two profiles at the base of the iron box and one profile at the mid plane. Then go to the surfaces, select a loft surface. Select our corresponding three profiles at the loft surfaces. Make sure that all the endpoints on the each curve are the same sides. While you cannot fix the same sides of the endpoints, the loft surface cannot be created. Again, we have to try with the loft surface and select open profile scaffolding make sure that all your closing points on each curve are the same edges just drag the closing points to the same side of the iron box just you have to drag 
on the same side now our surface is created after that we have to create a profile like back side of fine box so just utilize the thickened face make it to the convert entities and try with some more commands go to the sketch make the convert entities before that you have to delete the unwanted line segments by using a dim entities while we dimming a single line the all entities is to be deleted so just simply exit the command then we have to simply create a line on the edges of face select a line just draw a line on the face of the inbox just you have to utilize with the extruded surfaces give the amount of thickness to be added then click okay again we have to utilize with the loft surfaces go to the loft surfaces and select a two open profiles and make sure that your yeah, closing points are the same edges and then click okay now our basic surface of iron box is created again we have to lose a open profile in the top face of iron box so just we have to draw a line profile then exit the sketch go to the surfaces try with the swipe surfaces swipe surfaces cannot be suitable for closing this open surface so just exit the command and try with the locked surfaces simply close the swipe face and go to the locked surfaces and set our corresponding two profiles now our open surface is to be closed then click ok then we have to draw a close to profile at the middle plane so select a mid plane and then we have to draw a profiles such as spline or ellipse whatever you need i have draw a spline curve at the corresponding mid plane Give the dimensions to the ellipse curve based upon your requirement. Then click OK. Just we have to exit the sketch, go to the surfaces, and then we have to extrude the surfaces at the mid plane. The material can be extruded at both faces. Then click OK. Again, we have to utilize the dream surface command to achieve the fulfilled shape of iron box. So simply we have to select a dream surfaces. Select your dream surfaces. Make sure at your mutual conditions. First, you have to select all the surfaces. Again, you have to select your surfaces to be removed. Now, I will be do the selections for removing of surfaces. Now, I achieve the shape of iron box. Make sure you more concentrate on dream surfaces, and then click OK. And now, I achieve the shape of the iron box. Then we need to give the colors for iron box for aesthetic look and good appearance. To get the regular updates of my video, please subscribe in my channel. My channel contains more tutorials on the mechanical CAD software such as SolidWorks, Creo, ANSYS Workbench and CATIA. If you have any doubts regarding this video, just post in my command. I will try my best. Thanks for watching. Inshallah, we will meet in next video.